Hello and welcome back. Today is day nine of our graphing quadratics unit. We will be solving quadratic word problems involving maximum and minimums. Just a reminder, a handout of this lesson is provided in the description below. Thank you and enjoy. Oh yeah, it's that time again. We have some math problems here and we need you to do them now. Pause the video, complete the problems, and return to the video when you're done. So, suppose h of t is equal to this equation is the height of a diver above a water in feet, t seconds after the diver leaves the diving board. All right, so we got a diver, he's gonna dive in the water, and he's on top of a diving board. Draw a picture that represents the situation. All right, so I'm gonna sketch a little picture here. This is my ladder. There's my diving board. There's my person on top of the diving board. And then we, we're jumping in the pool, so we need some water. Perfect. All right, so now that's my picture of what's going to happen. So the diver is going to jump from the diving board into the water. How high above the water, part B, how high above the water is the diving board? So if we look at this question here, um, we need to figure out what is this height? So what is this height? So now I'm gonna use that equation real quick. Well, we're, we're gonna make a graph. So our graph is gonna be based on some kind of function. So we have some kind of graph and they told us that T is in seconds. So this is seconds and this would be your height. All right. And so I know this is a quadratic. So it's gonna look something like, it's gonna look something like this. Okay, so that's what my quadratic function would look like. It would look something like this. Now, to figure out the, the height of this person at the beginning of the problem, we need to figure out when time is zero. So what is the height when time is zero? What is the person's height? So what's the height of this person? So we know that would be this point right here. And again, going back to what we've learned earlier with this, this chapter, this right here is your y-intercept. And so that tells me that in this problem, when we start this problem, they are going to start off at 12 feet. So I know that this point right here, this point that we have on our graph is 0, 12. So what's telling me that this diver is 12 feet off the ground. All right, so that's what we're going to be doing. So again, as you read these problems and you're like trying to make sense of them, uh, it might be good to make a graph like I did down here, um, and then also to look at some of the, the key features, especially when you're looking at these um, different equations. All right, so question C, when does the diver hit the water? So at what time does the diver hit the water? Well, hitting the water is going to be which point? It's going to be this point on this graph. So we need to find out that point. So again, what do we know about that point? We know your y value is zero. So what we're really asking you is when does when does h of t equal zero? So remember, you can also think of that as your y value. So, so when do we hit the ground? When do we hit the water? Well, that's going to mean that all we're going to do is substitute <laughs> into this equation, and we're going to get zero is equal to negative t squared plus 4t plus 12. So really what you should notice is that this right here is that tells us when we're hitting the water. That's our height at when, when the water is zero. So when is the water zero? So then after that, we're just like, okay, so we just need to solve this equation. And that should give us two times. Remember, it's gonna give us two times, it's gonna give us some negative, it's gonna give us some negative value on the other side. Um, but let's go ahead and solve this now. So let's solve this. Um, first thing is I'm going to get rid of that negative. So I'm going to multiply everything by negative one. So this will now be zero is equal to a positive T squared. Now a negative four T and a negative 12. Okay. So I just multiplied the whole equation by negative one because I want my, um, first, my quadratic term to be positive. And then after that, I think I can factor this. It looks like I can factor this, so I'm gonna try that real quick. So I'm gonna see if I can factor. So this, let's see if we can factor this. Because if not, I'll use a quadratic formula or use some other way of doing this. 
but remember how to factor, so we're gonna get t squared, so t times t. And then 12, remember 12 has a bunch of factors. So we got one and 12, we got two and six, and three and four. So I think the six and the two is gonna work. So a six and a two. Which one's gonna be, one of them has to be negative because the 12 is negative. So that means in this problem, we want a negative six and a positive two. Because remember the sum of those two terms are gonna have to be negative four two. All right, then once we got that, let's go back to what we did a while ago and our zero product property. So t is equal to, or sorry, t minus six equals zero. That's gonna be one solution when we solve that and t plus two equals zero. So I know that t is equal to six or t is equal to negative two. So we have two answers. Now remember, which one makes sense in this problem? Does it make sense that at negative two seconds? No, that doesn't make sense. So the time that we're looking for, the diver hits the water. Let me write this down. The diver uh, hits the water at six seconds. Done. So now I can add that to my graph over here. So this right here, this point right here is six. Oh. Six comma zero. So that is that point down there. All right, perfect. So now we're um, really starting to pick this problem apart. So we knew the diver was at 12 feet high. That's how high the diver started. It takes them six seconds to hit the ground. All right, beautiful. Not the ground, that would hurt. Hit the water. All right, so the next part, question D. At what time does the diver reach the peak of the dive? So we're looking for the highest point on this graph. So we're looking for this point way up here. All right, so what is that point? Well, we know the highest point is gonna be the vertex. And now think back, how do you find the vertex when something's written in standard form? So when you're something that's written in standard form, we're going to use that little formula that we talked about yesterday, which x equals negative b over 2a. Okay, that will give us the axis of symmetry. So that'll tell us the line that goes right here. But then we can use that line to find the point. So let's do that real quick. So in this problem, so x equals negative the opposite of b so the opposite of four so that's just four negative four and two times a so two times negative one which is x is equal to what does that give us negative four divided by negative two is positive two perfect so we know right here this is right here on the graph this is two seconds so at two seconds we reach the highest point on the graph all right so Let's see what we got here. Now, how do we use that point? So remember, that is only telling us the x coordinate of our vertex. We need to find the y coordinate now. So let's go ahead and let's just solve for y. So I'm going to rewrite this equation, but I'm going to write it with a y this time. So y equals negative t squared plus 4t plus 12. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now let's solve for it. Let's find out what y is. So y is equal to, and we're going to use everywhere we see a t, we're going to replace that with the 2 or the x. So this will be 2 and 2 right there. And let's evaluate this, and we're done. So y is equal to, that's going to be a negative 4. That's going to be an 8, and that's going to be a 12. So y is equal to, what, 16 feet? 16, perfect. So what does that tell us? That tells us our vertex is at 216. So what that means is uh, at two seconds, the diver is 16 feet um, above the water and 
Watch out. Oh. Perfect. So at two seconds, the diver is 16 feet above the water. So look at, we're really taking apart this problem from given one equation. We really could answer a lot of questions. What are, let's review what we know so far. We knew that the height of the diving board was 12 feet. We knew we can solve and we found out that the diver will hit the ground, uh, water in six seconds. We also know that the maximum height of the diver is going to be at two seconds will be 16 feet. So that's the highest point. And we're really starting to take this problem all the way apart. Okay, question E. At what time on the diver's descent toward the water is the diver at the same height as the diving board? Okay, so what we're looking for is, it looks like in this problem we're going to be, this is going to take, uh, well, there's two ways we can do this. But what we're looking for, because we know the diver is going to dive up in the air and then come back down, right? But we want to find out when is this time right here. So we're looking for that time right there. Um, I want to find out when is the, when will we go back to the same height as the diving board. So, um, well, let's solve this equation. So one way you can do this is you can h of t is equal to negative t squared plus 4t plus 12. So one thing you can do is figure out, okay, well, the question really is, when is the height 12? So if you can figure out, you solve this equation, replace that with 12, and solve this equation, and you can do that a bunch of ways. Um, I don't know, I think factoring will work. Completing the square will work, quadratic formula will work, but you can rearrange this and solve this problem. But now I want to show you something a lot easier because solving will work. You can solve this if you want. I'm not going to do that because there's something else. One reason I like graphing things is I get to see uh, pictures and things start to help me make sense. So take a look at this graph here. What do we notice if we 12 is going to be this point right here, correct? So that's 12. And what do we see here? I see that the distance from here to here is two because you're going from zero to two seconds so what that means is that the distance from here to here should be two also because this is symmetrical so that point on the left on the y-intercept needs to be the same exact point on the other side so i'm going to draw a little arrow in here but you should know that this coordinate is going to be 12 it's going to be 2 12. sorry not 2 12 not 2 it's going to be 4 because we have to go two and two more. So it's gonna be four, 12. So now without doing any work, so without even doing this, I don't even need to solve. We already know the answer just by looking at the graph and using the symmetric property about this so that we know that the answer for this set problem is gonna be at four, 12. So uh, the height, of the diver will be 12 feet at four seconds and we're done so now that's that's the beautiful thing about using these graphs and really making um, helping them to to analyze your problems and to um, help you solve problems so yeah we could have solved this problem we could have done the algebra and done that but also we can just look at the picture nice and simple and just be like oh we're done all right. Hope you enjoyed this lesson and um, good luck.